Bradley, you are a disgrace to this department. You haven't been arresting anyone. If you don't arrest someone by the end of this month, you are out. You are out. You are out. The phone number you're trying to reach is not available at the moment. Please leave a message. Oh, shut up, Bob. I know it's you. Everyone tells me the same thing. I'm your cousin. What cousin? Your cousin, Gerald Bradley! Listen, what are you in now? What do you mean, what am I in? I've been clean for years! Can't you get dirty again? What? Be a bad egg? A nick? Bob, I need you to commit a crime. Why would I... Is there a bank near your house, Robert? A bank you can rob? But I don't want to rob a bank, Gerald. It's easy, you just need a bloody gun. A gun? Not a real one, you can find a replica about 50 bucks. That's expensive, Gerald. Oh, just go to a pound shop, you will find a cheap one. And then go and, and pay, pick up a trench coat and a, and a mask. I can't afford any of that. Well, the mask. Oh, okay, maybe robbing a bank is too much. You, oh, you can go just outside and uh, robbing people in the street. That should be like a walk in the park, literally. I can't go out for a walk in the park right now. We are stuck at home. That's it! Just go out! Do you mean I should unstuck myself from home? Listen to me, Bob. Aren't you tired of being that couch forever? Eating that same pizza every single morning? A shadow of the man you once were? Don't you want to feel again that precious air from outside in your lungs? One more time. Yeesh, when you put it like that, okay, let me put my mask on. Just forget about the bloody mask! Go outside and reclaim your humanity! Become a free man, Bob! You are right? My god, you are right! World, here I come! Congratulations on your arrest, Gerald. You really are one of our finest officers. Here I thought you were a bad egg. <laughs>